Hello, this is Hellbent, aka Sivreborn on YouTube, and if you're watching this video, it's because you want to know how to run your Auto Hotkey scripts. So, the first thing you're going to need is a copy of Auto Hotkey, because you can't run Auto Hotkey scripts without a copy of Auto Hotkey. So, you just go to Google, type in Auto Hotkey, and it should be the first link. You just go to their homepage and click download, and then just follow their prompts to install it. Um, this isn't a tutorial on how to install AutoHotKey, it's how to run the script, so we're going to continue on. Okay, so I, when, I should mention that this is all free and it really is quick to get it. It took me less than five minutes to install everything and I have a really crappy internet connection. So anyways, okay, so now we have AutoHotKey on our computer. Now we need to be able to run scripts. So. I'm, I'm going to assume that you found a script online and you're just looking to how to run it. So I'm going to take a script that I've already posted online and I'm going to copy this link. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go search it up. So this is going to take me to a paste bin file, which is where I typically share all of my things online. So once I'm here, I'm just going to copy. I'm going to drag and copy all of this script. Okay. And there might be an easier way of doing this, but because I don't usually get scripts off of, uh, I usually put them online. I don't usually get them. So this has always worked for me. So anyways, I'm just going to copy all of this. Okay. All the way to the last line here. I'm going to hit control C to copy it into my uh, my clipboard and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new notepad okay so I have a blank notepad here and I'm just going to paste in that script so now I have it in here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file hit save as and I'm going to select where I want to save it so I already have a folder open that I'm going to save this to and I'm just going to name it some whatever name you want to name your, your file. Make sure it makes sense to apply to what it is. So this is a, I'm going to call mine how to run scripts. So that's the name of my file. And at the end, I'm just going to type dot ahk to make it an auto hotkey executable. I'm going to save and now it's ready to run. So now I have a couple of options. I can, before we go through that though, what you should do is if it's not your script, you should read over anything in the script. Usually they'll have comments and telling you what everything does. So just go over the script quickly. Even if you don't understand everything, a lot of the things that'll be meant for you will be very easy to understand. For example, this is a comment and this just says that these things are global variables. So you'll see things like this throughout the script. So just make sure you read over it and understand what's going on. Okay, so now that I have it, I have a few options. So if I had pasted this to my desktop, I will now see an icon that looks like this. And to run the script, I have two options. I can either double click it and that'll start it. Or another option is I can right click on it and that'll give me this dialog box with all these options and at the very top it says run script I just click run script and my script will be running now depending on what kind of script it is you'll have two things happen one of two things happen you'll either see in the taskbar at the bottom of your screen you'll see a green icon with a white H in the middle of it or if you go over to the up arrow that shows hidden icons you'll see this kind of thing so for example this arrow that you see moving around is actually a script that is running so I can see here that it's running and if I right click on that it'll give me some options I can exit it pause it suspend etc okay so that out of the way we're gonna actually go ahead and run this script that we have so we ha we created this how to run script we're just going to right click on it it's going to give us our dialog box we're going to hit run script and here we go this is that script that we just created and that's it uh, you're ready to run your scripts when you're done you can look over the script itself to see if there is a hotkey to exit it 
by just pressing a key, which in this case it has a key control plus X to exit it, or I can go to that up arrow and I can select the one, right click on it, and I can hit exit. That's it. You're running your own auto hotkey scripts now. Have a good day.